Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in statics and we're going to do problem 4.78, okay? It says, two couples act on the beam as shown. Determine the magnitude of F if the sum of three of the moment in the beam is equal to 300 pounds per feet counterclockwise, okay? So we got this couple F and this couple 200 pounds, okay? Now, we know that the sum of three of forces is equal to 300 pounds in the counterclockwise direction. So we need to know that moment is going to be equal to distance times force, okay? So if we do the sum of three of forces, not the forces, I'm sorry, of moments, I always say the same. Now, let's just start with my force F. So I'll have an F of Y going up in here, and I'll have an f of y going down in here. I'll also have an f of y going to the left in this case, and an f of y going to the right over here. They're the same but opposite, same magnitude, opposite direction. So, since we're given that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle, we know that if we start with our f of y, so this is the x, this is my 1, we start with f of y, it's 3 out of 5, so we got 3 out of 5 of my force for f of y multiplied by the difference in the distance between the two f of y's, so here, which is given by these 4 feet, so multiply by 4. Now, what is the direction? So it's going like this, so it's going counterclockwise, so I'm going to leave it positive. Then let's do f of x. So f of x, which is plus, because it's also going counterclockwise, is 4 out of 5 of my force f multiplied by the distance between the two f of x. I also screw up this one, f of x and f of x. So it's 1.5, it's distance. Okay, now, what about this 200 pounds? So one is going this way, the other one is going this way, so it's going clockwise. So it's negative. So we're going to do minus 200 multiplied by the distance between these two guys, which is 1.58. And all this should add up to 300 pounds clockwise. Since it's clockwise, counterclockwise, I'm sorry, it's going to be positive. And this is pound per feet. Okay? Now, we need to add these two forces F together and we're gonna pass this guy to the other side since in this side is negative on the other side is going to add up okay so let's see let's put my forces into decimals and add them all so we have 3 out of 5 multiplied by 4 gives me well we can leave it into fractions which is 12 over 5 of my force F. That's what this total gave me. Now, what about the next one is going to be 4 out of 5 multiplied by 1.5. And this gives me 6 out of 5 of my force F. We do equal. Now, this guy, we're going to multiply it and pass it to the other side. If we multiply 200 multiplied by 1.5, it's equal to 300. And if we do 300 plus 300, it's equal to 600 pounds times fit. Okay? Now, if we add these two guys together, we will end up with 18 out of 5 of my force F, which is equal to 600 pounds fit. And if we solve for F, we will get the F is going to be equal to 600 divided by 18 and multiplied by 5. And let's see what this is equal to. So 600 divided by 18 and we multiply this guy by 5 and we get that F is equal to 167 pounds. Okay? That was it for this problem. Thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any questions or any comments, please comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.